What's up, cousins? Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats, and I just put a Roy's shallow water anchor system on the rear of my 14-foot John boat. And in this video, I'm going to show you the install process. We're going to take it out on the water, and I'm going to do a demonstration of how this thing actually works. So stick around so you can see how the anti-power pole works, and you'll learn everything you need to know about the shallow water anchor system in this video. This is a Roy's shallow water anchor system. If you've never seen one of these things, they are super, super cool. Transom mount shallow water anchor. It's manually deployed. I got the six and a half foot depth one. It's just like a manual power pole, guys. That's the best way I can put it. Got this at tinyboatnation.net. My boys at Tiny Boat Nation, they've got everything you'll need to build one of these boats. Electronics, rivets, aluminum, lids, you name it, they got it. Use code BRIGADE at checkout for 5% off your order. There she is, guys, in all of her glory, the Roy's shallow water anchor setup. For me and what I'm going to use this for, I thought it would be better to get the uh, clamp on so I could take this off the 14, maybe put it on the 12, maybe test it on some other boats, some customer projects, you never know. So that's why I got the clamp on. The head plates are made out of aluminum. The piping is galvanized. The base is iron and all the hardware is stainless steel. And of course they prime, paint and clear coat and then actually bake all these parts in a kiln for eight hours. And I can tell you right now, this finish looks really nice guys, but uh, no offense to you, Roy, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my Anthony Jones flare because I could tell already these plates would be awesome wrapped in that carbon fiber that I have in the rest of my boat. So I might do that. But beyond that, I'm, I'm truly impressed with how nice this thing looks out of the box. So now we talk about where am I going to mount it? Well, for me and my boat, this is a 1436, guys. So this is a tiny boat and I don't have a lot of room. Now I have seen my boy Mike Lopez run dual shallow water anchors on his 1232. I'm only running one, so I've got more room than him. But on this side, I've got my bilge out. And as you can see, I've got handles. We need to account for outboard clearance, running the old e-propulsion electric outboard on this rig. And um, over here, I've got a handle, but I, I'm thinking I can mount it on this side, maybe above this handle is kind of where I want to be. Probably something like this. And guys, this thing's pretty light. Yeah, so I just looked at the box and it says it's actually 19 pounds. Man, I think for what you're getting and how large of a uh, contraption this actually is, it's super lightweight. I'm impressed by just being able to pick it up with one hand. Now, as you can see, it just it just goes on the transom, and then you're going to tighten these bolts down, just like an outboard. All transoms have different angles, guys, so you just have to adjust accordingly. All right, I'll mount it up. So let me show you kind of what I did here. Now, this is not necessary. This is a purely 100% bolt on item with uh, no modification needed. Although you can modify or do some different things. So I decided to kind of beef this area up a little bit. And all I did was simply take some plate, slide it up under this lip, rivet it in place, and then overlap it with some 16th angled aluminum just to kind of give it a little mini mount for this thing to clamp down and bite to. So that's all I did again. Not 100% necessary. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. As far as dimensions, it's three inches for this bracket as far as the depth over the transom by four inches wide. And from this back shot, you can kind of see where I've got it. I've got it about in the middle of this side of the boat. So if this is the dead middle of the boat, I'm about the dead middle of the right side. So now what we need to do is get this thing outside and uh, demo it. I'll show you how it operates and then get it out on the water. You can see here in the sun that carbon fiber that I put on these side plates. Went ahead and did that. Gives it just a little bit more cool factor. Sorry, Roy, but uh, we're going to take this thing to the lake and try it out.
All right, cousins, we are at a local electric only reservoir um, that I frequent. Figure I go ahead and show it to you out of the water and demo it here in the parking lot. And then, of course, we'll get out on the water and we'll test it out. Um, super simple setup, guys. Let me show you how it works. Two step process, really. Number one is he's got this mechanism down here that's a lock. You just take that, flip it up out of the way. And then up top, there's a pin. And you just pop this pin, pull it out. All right. And now you're able to go ahead and deploy this unit. So all you gotta do is grab the strap. And there she is. Now, obviously this isn't the full depth that this shallow water anchor will go because I'm sitting in a parking lot. So let's go ahead and take it out on the water and see what it'll do. All right, guys, we're right at about five foot of water. And uh, go ahead and try it out. Kind of backed into this little cove. And as you can see, so easy. I'm doing it with one hand while I hold it. With my other hand while I hold the camera. So, and it looks like we're in. Now, the model I got again is six and a half foot depth. And uh, it's holding. Super awesome, man. Dude, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so pumped about this thing. This is great, man. It really, really is. And when you pull it out, what I'll show you is all the water will come out of the bottom and it'll just drain back out. We're anchored, locked and loaded, baby. All right, guys, right at five, seven, almost six foot of water back in this cove. Again, anchored down and uh, no issues, man. And that's awesome because I'm right in the middle of this cove and it's just a shallow cove. I'm anchored down and I could fish this whole thing if I wanted to. I was super impressed with the Roy's shallow water anchor. There's a reason why I've seen more and more guys run these on their tiny boats. And now I know for myself, these anchors are a plug and play solution for you to anchor down on the next level, making them a great addition to any small boat build. I'm definitely looking forward to getting much more use out of mine in the future. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy this video of the anti-power pole. We'll catch you on the next one.